Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Democratic presidential nominee-in-waiting Kamala Harris is being celebrated in her ancestral home in southeast India with prayers. Harris's grandfather hails from the village of Pineganaduthalasandrapuram in the province of Tamil Nadu. On Monday, residents of the area held a special prayer service at the Dharmasasta Temple. Those services will continue until November 5th, Election Day. We are very happy that the granddaughter of P. V. Gopalan, Kamala Harris, is likely to be the U.S. presidential nominee, a local resident told the Deccan Herald. We organized special pujas to pray that she is able to get the nomination and eventually triumph against Donald Trump, they added. A puja is a Hindu worship ritual. None of her relatives remain in the area, the priest of the temple told the Hindu, confirming that the last of her family left several decades ago. Despite this, Locals are overjoyed that a descendant of the area is now a step closer to becoming the most powerful leader in the free world. We feel overjoyed that Ms. Harris is one step close to occupying the highest office in the United States of America and her victory will be the greatest moment for Thulasandrapuram and Tamil Nadu, Local J. Suthakar told the website. Similar celebrations were held in the area in 2020 when Harris was chosen by President Joe Biden to be his running mate. The pair easily defeated incumbent Donald Trump and his vice president Mike Pence. In June last year, when Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi made a state visit to Washington, Harris spoke emotionally about her ties to her late mother Shyamala Gopalan's country of birth. She credited her grandfather P. V. Gopalan, who was a civil servant, with teaching her about what democracy means as they walked hand in hand on a beach in his home state of Tamil Nadu. These lessons, she said, first inspired my interest in public service, and have guided me ever since. She also talked about her mother's influence, and how she discovered her love of good idli, eliciting laughter from the crowd with her reference to a dish of steamed rice dumplings, a staple in southern India. Sumat Raman, a political commentator in Tamil Nadu, said there was excitement when she was named the VP nominee, but after that, there's not been a great deal of enthusiasm. Beyond a smattering of references, Analysts say Harris hasn't tapped her Indian identity heavily. A few members of her extended family remain in India. Other than the trips during her childhood, Harris hasn't visited the country much, and not since she became vice president, another reason that could explain why her candidacy hasn't resonated widely in the country yet. Still, if Harris becomes the Democratic nominee, it would be a first for a South Asian American, and a sign of just how far the diaspora has come in the US, Kugelman said. Harris and a slew of other political personalities with roots in India, from Nikki Haley and Vivek Ramaswamy to Usha Vance, have become household names in the US and their rise has put a spotlight on the country, beyond the clichés of Bollywood and Indian cuisine, he added.